these are the five traps I find most kind of dangerous when we're faced with complexity. The, the first one I think about is uh, what I call the rightness trap, right? It's, the, it's actually the way our minds trick us into believing we're right, even when we have no not, not enough evidence or thought devoted in this direction. Uh, rightness is this sort of sense of certainty, a feeling of certainty is actually an emotion. It's not a, a cognitive process. It's not the result of the thinking. The second one is simple stories. We um, humans have grown to live in and love the narrative. It connects us. It makes our communities, our societies, our organizational cultures more possible. But it also tricks us into thinking that pretty much everything can have kind of a beginning, a middle, and an end. Then we're always trying to fit those archetypes, which are very unhelpful in a complex world. Then there's this this way that humans have been, we have created all sorts of ways for us to escape conflict um, and disagreement with those to whom we are close, and at the same time to amplify conflict and disagreement with those with whom we disagree. And this creates all kinds of unhelpful dynamics and polarization. So that's the, the third idea that we're trapped by our need for our desire for agreement. The fourth one is about control. Nobody can control complexity. It's one of the defining features of complexity is it emerges from the interaction of a variety of interconnected forces or people. And so often we are, um, we are unsettled by this and we try harder and harder to control a thing that's uncontrollable. And as we do that, we tend to create very perverse outcomes. And then the last one, which is quite connected to this adult development idea earlier, is that who we are today um, often uh, requires us to kind of protect or defend that person. And so there's a way we get trapped by our own egos, by the, the person we're being gets in the way of the person we could be becoming.